Hey everybody, so um, this is going to be our second pour and our second video of the day. Um, if you saw our last video, I made a really pretty purple painting and I ended up ruining it. So um, I want to make another one. And my mom came over and she picked these colors out. I have these pre-mixed. Uh, we're doing five colors today. These are all Liquitex Basics. Um, right here we have the deep violet of the Liquitex Basics. Um, then we have just the bronze. And then we have Quinacridone Magenta. I think I'm saying that correctly. Quinacridone Magenta, yes. Um, neutral Gray. Value 5. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, it's opaque though. And we have Portrait Pink as well. Um, and we are going to do this in a gradient effect. Hold on, I need to get a different measuring cup. So, these are pre-mixed, um, one part paint to two parts Floetrol. We have a Floetrol water solution, 10% Floetrol, 90% water that we thin our paints with. And then I also add a little bit of alcohol to, it helps thin them and it also kind of uh, kills the air bubbles. So, uh, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time and go darkest to lightest in our cup. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna start that. One thing I did not do in the last video that I do wanna do this time, I know I did put it in our description box, but um, I did wanna shout out to Gina DeLuca. Um, you can find her on YouTube. She is pretty much, I, I mean, I wanna say my inspiration. I have watched almost all of her videos. Uh, my flow trawl to paint recipe comes from her, the 10% uh, flow trawl and 90% water solution comes from her. Um, a lot of my color inspirations come from her. So you'll see in some more of our videos that we'll post that I do a lot of things like her. So give her a look, give her a like, a subscribe, a comment. Um, she's really awesome. She really seems to know what she's doing, so that's why I like to watch her. Um, yeah. She has a really, she has a video, it's about 45 minutes long, I think, on just how to when it comes to pour painting. I haven't been doing this very long at all. Um, I love doing it. But her how-to video or instructional video was one of the first ones that I watched. So I know she loves her Liquitex basics as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. I think, again, I mix too much paint, so do not be surprised if this seems like way too much paint. I honestly didn't even measure and probably should have, but... It seems like every time I do a straight pour, I get this ring effect, which I don't mind necessarily, but really know how to get around getting that effect. I really hope this bronze doesn't take over the painting. So I'm just going to use up as much of this as I can. And I like pulling it out from the middle. I really like this effect that you get Looks like in my cup, I'm starting to get some cells with that bronze and purple. So that would be cool. 
Now I forgot to do this last time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time. You wanna to torch this just to get your air bubbles out. Um, it can help you get cells, I think, but not really. It doesn't have the biggest effect on cells from my experience. I guess it might depend on your colors and your mixture and all that, but it will get rid of air bubbles. I know my boyfriend had thought of trying maybe um, a heat gun, but I don't know if the air from that would move the paint too much. I don't know. So, all right, let's go ahead and start tilting. Since I feel like this bronze might take over a little bit, I think we're gonna go that way first. Maybe try to run some of that off. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot more paint than we need, but that's okay. Okay, don't wanna run too much off. So you wanna bring the weight of the paint back to the center. Um, it will help you keep your image. I used to just tilt all over the place and then I wound up with these like wacky lines all over my paintings that I wasn't fond of. Um, so that is how I've learned to prevent that. We definitely got some cool colors going on here. I feel like the magenta's lost though. Maybe it'll pop out a little more as we stretch. Let's come back this way. Because again, I like the bronze, but I don't want it to take over the painting. So if this goes to where you guys can't see it, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get everything covered. Back to the middle. Okay, let's go out to this corner. I need to slow down. always go too fast. Sometimes it can work, other times going too fast can ruin your painting, so just take that into consideration. This one's turning out really cool, actually. <laughs> so, I think that our deep violet our bronze and our portrait pink are the predominant colors in this painting, and that's okay. We lost a little bit of gray, I think, and a little bit of our magenta, but overall it looks pretty good. Let me get this corner. What are you talking about, Willow? I don't know if you can hear my daughter, but she she's almost six months old. She's in the background yelling. Well, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up my edges, my corners, make sure there's no canvas showing through. This is something I always do and I hate. Um, I'll have the white 
from the base coat on my fingers and then touch the side and get white in my painting when I don't have white in my painting. So just a heads up that you can do a white base. Try to get that off your fingers before you touch up the edges, unlike what I'm doing. Well, um, hold on one second. I'm gonna rinse my hands. But yeah, if you saw my purple painting, oh, it turned out so great. And then I went and dropped the torch in the painting and ruined it, but we're not going to do that this time. However, I am going to torch these air bubbles out. I think I might be able to start fuel in this thing. And you can see Ooh, some of those cells are definitely popping out with the torch. Um, so scratch what I said earlier. But anyways. I didn't use any silicone in these paints. Um, if I do like a flip, a dirty flip, then I always use silicone because I love the cells that they produce. And... In addition to the silicone, I do use the OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum because that makes some pretty awesome cells as well. You just gotta be careful not to overwork those because if you overwork the silicone or the OGX into the paint, um, you'll just end up with tons of tiny cells as opposed to the big stretched cells that a lot of people are trying to achieve when they do these paintings. Um, it looks like some of my white is coming through back here, but that's okay. People might just think it's the pink. And my canvas is showing through a little bit. I'm curious. Yes, this quinacridone magenta is semi-transparent or translucent. So I think that's why I've got some canvas showing on the edge, but I'm not too worried about that. But anyways, so this is our finished product with a gradient style straight pour. Um, yeah, if you like our videos, then please subscribe, like, comment. Um, if you have any questions, I can try to answer them in future videos. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching.